We define water governance as the practices of coordination and decision making between different actors around contested water distributions. There's two important things in this definition. The first one is that what we aim to do is not only prescribing how water governance should be done, but we want to understand how it is actually done. And the second important thing in the definition is our acknowledgement that water governance is always deeply political. There will always be debate about how water can best be distributed, how risks of, water, of floods should be distributed, or who should pay for investments in new water infrastructure. So that means that how to organize this debate forms an important part of the questions we ask about water governance. The work of uh, the Water Governance Group has three important features. The first is its, interven its intervention orientation. So most of what we do is directly linked to or about the tools, instruments, designs, policies, institutions used to do water governance. So we engage with how to design infrastructures, how to design policies, how to design institutions, but also critically study these. The second feature of our work is our direct identification with the problems ex as experienced by those who live water or operate water infrastructures or design uh, water systems. So we identify with them, trying to understand problems from, from their perspective, helping them doing their work better, but also critically reflect, helping them reflect on how they do and evaluate what they do. Our third feature in, of our work is that we have a, a strong focus on questions of equity and justice. So we are particularly interested in how particular designs, institutions, policy, policies or infrastructures co-shape the distributions of cost, benefits and risks of water. And we always want to bring out what particular proposals for interventions mean for different groups of people in society. All this we can only do through our deep interdisciplinarity, which means that we combine, mix and build on insights from engineering, from law, political sciences and social science and development studies and geography. So we have a very interesting mix of stuff and try and combine and build on different insights. A longer term ambition of our group is to also question or discuss the, the dominance of northern universities in establishing water science agendas. Most of our work, or most of what we do, is in southern countries. And most of our students also come from southern countries. This is why we think it's very important to also actively discuss and reflect on where knowledge comes from and who produces that knowledge. In all, we at the Water Governance Group aspire to be an institutional space for critical water studies. With critical here, we mean that we want to continuously reflect on where knowledge comes from, what it highlights, what it foregrounds and what it backgrounds, and we want to continuously re reflect the evaluative frameworks used to assess particular water interventions or policies.